Check it out, y'all. What's up, guys? Hope you are well. Today's tutorial is going to be very simple. I'll be teaching you all a move called the coffee grinder. The concept is very simple. It just requires you to take one of your legs and then rotate it around your body. Very much like... Okay. So, I'm just going to demonstrate it. When you first begin creating this move, you need to do two things. First, remove your shoe, leave your sock on, right? Then, let's say you want to start with your right leg and curl anti-clockwise. You stretch your right leg and put all your body weight on your left leg, right? Palms on the front of you. This motion is three parts. First part, you slide like that. Bring your right hand over, yeah. Then your left hand bring over, yeah. And after that, you just need to hop. Your left leg, hop, pa. When you hop, right? Just bring your body weight to your hands. Okay. Then try again, huh? Over. Right hand, left hand. Bring your body weight in front, yeah. Okay. So right, you practice, practice, practice. Eventually, you want to get one smooth motion. Okay, you can first begin by just staggering first. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, but eventually you want to have one continuous motion. So one, two, three. One, two, three. You realize that your body weight will also go, you know, opposite your leg. So, with my body weight, my leg is here, my body weight is kind of here, right? My leg goes behind, my body weight is in front. So, hope that, you know, helps to clear things up. Eventually, you want to do it without, you know, having your sock left for the world to see, lah, right? You want to pull on your shoes. So, you want to lift your legs higher so that you don't scrape the floor. That's when your hips come in. Your hips, right? When you activate your hips, you should be able to gain the height. Like that. You know? The hips as well as the body weight make sure that when you are like kicking there you're leaning this way lean this way lean this way so the legs don't touch the floor once you have mastered one side you gotta learn the other right so let's say you learn this one already right curl in you kick the other way right the kick the clockwise way very simple same thing take it step by step left hand first then right hand, then your left leg, kick, and bring your body weight in front once you kick through, okay, one more time, left leg, right hand, kick through, right, so eventually, you also want to learn the left leg, right, so the left leg, same thing, left hand, right hand, sweep through, Left hand, right hand, sweep through. Other side. Okay, so four things to learn. One move, four things to learn. So now that you learn the move, what can you do with it? Actually, there are a lot of things you can do with a coffee grinder. So let's say you know the six step, right? Six step. Here is actually a very good place to add the coffee grinder. So coffee grinder, coffee grinder, six step. Coffee grinder, six. coffee grinder, coffee grinder, six step. You know, it can be a good way to just switch things up in your footwork, right? And actually, the coffee grinder can lead you to freezes as well. It's a good way to transition and then enter a freeze very smoothly. This might be a bit more advanced, but let's say you go from six step, right? Coffee grinder, freeze, right? Then coffee grinder. Back up, right? So I'd say that this uh, coffee grinder is a very good connecting move between all the different things you've learned. So you can try it out. Okay, that's it for my short tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed it. And you can try this at home. 
if you have no space to try the coffee grinder at home, you can try other things like, I don't know, freezers or what, you know, things they can do in a small confined space. And I mean, if you don't feel like working out or exercising, just do other things, you know, like play computer games or whatever that take, it takes for you to feel happy, you know, because right now we are going through such a crazy period and everyone, you know, like, like it's a tough time for everyone. So whatever it takes to keep you happy, that is safe, just do it and um, it just helps you get through the day. Uh, yeah, so here's wishing yourself and your family all the best. Stay healthy and happy during this circuit breaker period. And I hope to see all of you soon and we can learn more stuff together. Peace. Stay away from